the early 90s, Apple moved to their One Infinite Loop campus, the iconic place where they've made the iPhone, the iPod. Now they're looking to add a room. The Apple Campus 2, nicknamed the Spaceship, will be the new home to 13,000 Apple employees. And what's interesting is that it will never look like this again. So we're going to take a look. Nothing about the new campus is small. The circumference of the building is over a mile around, and the 176-acre site will also include two outdoor restaurants, seven cafes, a fitness center, and a 120,000-square-foot theater, where Apple will hold product announcements from now on. And there's the cost. The company won't confirm the price tag, but the project is estimated at $5 billion. But all these big numbers aside, Apple is looking to lead the way in the campus's design. Numerous parts of the structure have touches of eco-friendliness, from solar panels to ventilation. It just so happens to be made mostly of glass, like your iPhone or iPad. The company shies away from drawing direct comparisons to their products, but there are some similarities. For one, instead of Apple's glass and aluminum, they use glass and concrete for the building. Air spills into the vents of the building from the outside and moves through the hollow concrete slabs to lower the building's temperature. Each solid piece of concrete is used as both the floor on one level and the ceiling on another. So the same concrete you see up here is what you see down here, and this is part of the cooling system. The polished concrete gives the floor a reflective quality and meets right at the edge of the glass. It's all very Apple. The building will have traditional air conditioning as a backup, but will primarily use the natural ventilation to cool the place. Even in its unfinished form, I felt a stark temperature difference when going from outside to inside. But more interesting than the concrete are the 3,000 panes of glass used to make the building. Over 900 panes for vertical, 1,600 for canopy, and about 300 for clear story and skylight glass. These vertical panes are thick, way thicker than the glass used in your iPhone. All of that glass is meant to make their employees feel like they're outside, even when they're inside. And that's bolstered by the fact that 80% of the campus will be green space. Many of the trees on campus will be native to the area. And the rooftop solar panels will contribute to the campus's use of renewable energy. Clearly there wasn't enough glass in the building, so Apple threw in canopy glass at the top of each vertical pane, which is also used for cooling. Those glass panels are used for shade and to reflect light into the building, offering employees that outside feel. Apple will be wrapping up construction this year, with employees moving in early 2017. Now Google and Amazon have their new campuses coming as well with lots of green space, but Apple's hoping that this next spaceship will bring them into the next 20 years.